come out here. I want to talk what, to you. What? What? I just want you to know that I am worried sick about Dot. Why? She is back in the kitchen right now, deep frying her wiglet. Oh, heck. Yes, she is. You know what she did yesterday? What? She tore out of the parking lot and threw off gravel all over everywhere. Well, what's the matter with that? She was on foot, Floyd. Oh, I guess I better do something. You better give that woman a vacation. I don't mean maybe she's back there writing her name on the wall in ketchup right now. Oh, well, let's get, let's get back to Do something about get it, her. Floyd. I'm worried about her. Don't! Right? special lady. Hey, Weezer, I'm going to put your tennis shoes over here on this counter, all right? Hey, Loretta, we sure do appreciate you coming in here and taking Dot's play. Oh. Uh, oh, yeah. You know that poor woman needed a vacation so bad. You know what she did? She packed up her three screaming kids, her drunk husband, her mama, and her dogs, and went on up to Gatlinburg. She Who sure did? Dot did. Oh. By the way, how would you get off work from the uh, whole Waffle Village come here and work for us? Oh, I got fired. Oh, Loretta, honey, I'm sorry. I had no idea. About what? Well, you know, about, you know, being fired. But I just got here. No, honey, I'm talking about the Waffle Village. Oh, what about it? Well, you got fired. Well, where'd you hear that? Hey, Loretta, I want to thank you for coming in here. Why? You know, taking Dot's place. Why? Well, you know, you might lend a little class in the place. God knows Dorinda could use some. Thank you very much, Fred Astaire. Dorinda? I don't understand these boxes. Can oh. you swing these boxes to me? Yeah, I sure will. Here, move over. Give me your pad, give me your pencil, give me some elbow room, okay? Now, what you need to do is when they order... When they order onion, you put a O, okay? Uh -huh. When they want pickle, you put a P. When they want tomato, you put a T. Ketchup is K. Lettuce is L. Oh, Mayonnaise well, is e. I can't go that fast. Look, let me try another page. Okay. okay. Now, you said onion is O. Uh-huh. Okay, you got your pickle is P. That's right. Tomato darling. is T. 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 That's right. Okay. You got the hang of it. Uh-oh. What about lettuce? Lettuce is L, Loretta. L, okay. L lettuce. Now, you, ketchup right. is a K. Ketchup is a K. Except, what about if they spell it with a C? Honey, it doesn't matter if they spell it with a C, because see what That'll you That'll be 479! Drive around, please! What the heck is going on? I opened the drive-in window. Is that why Weezer's out there by the phone booth and them roller skates? Yeah, shoot, people live in their cars all summer. Jimmy Jack Pothauser gets in that van in June, don't get out till Labor Day. I'll double my business. You, Floyd, are a mental giant. Yep. Okay, you put down your O and you carry your P. You got put it. Put down your T and carry the L. Then you add your K. Dorinda? What? Didn't I tell you to explain all that stuff to Loretta? Yes, you did, Dr. Einstein. Well, do it. I don't want any trouble for my customers. Loretta, honey. Let me tell you something. If you ever have any trouble with your customers, you just do what Dot and me do. You know what we do? We look them right in the eye and we say to them, if it ain't on the menu, it ain't for sale. <laughs> we do that. We look, them, we look them right in the eye and we say, if it ain't on the menu, it ain't for sale. They love it. <laughs> Woo! I don't get it. You got a customer up there, darling. So? Dorinda! Floyd! Floyd! Oh! 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 You know Floyd that movie man. they're making around? Around here? Yeah. Smokey and the Bandit Part 9! Who? Oh, oh, Who? Yeah! Well, there's a movie van out there with people in it, and they're looking for locales and extras and props. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine that Loretta being on screen with Burt Reynolds just right there up on screen with him? Who? Who? Loretta, I tell you what you do. Why don't you go on back where the deep fat fryer is, and why don't you bob for chicken fried steak, okay? Oh, okay. Who? Who? Here they come! They coming. Wait, are you get in here? You stay right there. You don't like to see them, okay? Boy, okay. I love it. I love it. This place is a real dive. Thank Jackie. you. Okay, the way I see it, Hal, we can put the inkies right there mm -hmm. and park the truck around back. Hey, if you people need any food, uh, catering's kind of a sideline, ain't it? Hey, Floyd. Y'all have to excuse Floyd, say he's a fool. <laughs> <laughs> I love the place, I love the people, I love those skates. I love the smell of this place. Get a clearance, Chuck, okay? And get Bert a call over at his motel. Okay, gotcha, Hal. Bert. Now, you know, we still have to go back over to the agency. We got a casting call for the part of that singing waitress. Mm -hmm. Stand by your man. What about her? Chances are hey, he's drunk hey, and he can't stand by I hear himself. you, I hear you. Honey, how'd you like to be in a movie? Be in a movie? <gasps> 
Well, you know, I'd have to break a few standing dates, but I guess I could do that. <laughs> Great. Of course, you'd have to do a bedroom scene with Burt Reynolds. Of course, it'd be very, very tasteful. Duranda, what'd you say I was supposed to be doing back there? Wait a minute. I started to bob for the chicken fried steak. What a sense of humor, huh? <laughs> what about it? Perfect. You've got the part, honey. Sorry, sweetheart. We're gonna have to gel that window oh, there. Oh, we can't huh? shoot over there, Hal. It's too near the street. Right. What about out front here? No, utility poles all in the front. Mm. What about that place we passed on the way in? You know, the one with the oh, underground yeah, cables? Yeah. Waffle Village. Great timing. Hey, maybe they can cater the film. Oh, no. Their food's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Great ad lib, honey. We're gonna make you the next dinosaur. Oh, I don't like the bee. <laughs> oh, she's great. She breaks me up. I'm oh, beautiful. Wow. Very, very nice. What a fun. Loretta, be a star. What am I? I'm just a pawn on your ruthless trek to stardom. You look depressed. Yeah, I am. Have I got the answer for you? I have a whole list of books here that are both uplifting and inspirational. Now, how about this? Happiness, myth, or fantasy? No, I don't think so. Okay, then how about something for your assertiveness, like this one here? Yes, claiming your space. Or if you don't move over, I'll wring your neck. Uh, I don't understand books like that. Okay, you don't like that one then. Aha, how about something to improve the old intelligence? Like what? I have got here a book on the history of space travel. It's also the story of the ravishing... Hey, you wait just a minute. I wasn't born yesterday. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to do an introduction to that stupid old Captain Space. See, you're getting smarter already. <laughs> Now, the adventures of Captain Space. Starring William Buck Tush as the captain, with Tootsie Plunkett as the ravishing Darla, Sylvester Crimsaws as Tink Tanker, Celestial Engineer, and E.P. Witherspring as the sometimes likable, sometimes evil Dr. Fool. At the conclusion of our last thrill-drenched episode of Captain Space, the crew of the Zircon Space Crusade vessel had retrieved a taco flying somewhere in the ozone west of Juarez. Inside the taco, a desperate message. We rejoin our friends as Tink Tanker speaks. What does the taco say, Captain S? It doesn't say anything, Tink. It's just a bunch of cheese and lettuce wrapped in a shell. Well, why do they call it a taco if it doesn't even talk? Shut up, Thorms, Captain. What does the message say? Darla, it says, help. The man who claims to be our dictator, Juan Juan R2, is really an imposter. <gasps> and he's about to shoot the real Juan Juan R2 at dawn. Dawn Juan? No, Juan Juan at dawn. Juan Juan at dawn. Whoa, no time for anagrams now, gang. Quickly, let's put on our disguises. We're off to Tijuana. <laughs> Tijuana? Of course I wanna. It's our duty to expose the fake one and save the real one. We'll all be chilled. <laughs> Tijuana dance under the moonlight. Tijuana. Oh, yeah. Shut, Shut up, up fools. Tink, hit the spaceograph pentameter. We're off to Tijuana and revenge. Our spaceship's revenge. Our galaxy's revenge. Montezuma's revenge. <laughs> Shut up, fools. Uh-oh. If we are where I think we are, we are in big trubs. Hi, I'm Captain Space. Juan Juan R2. Si, si. Juan Juan R2. Juan in the same. Hey, Juan, if you put two holes in that mask, you could see stuff better. This is no ordinary mask, senor. I'm about to be executed. Care to join me? We'll all be killed. <laughs> Shut up, Darla, and die like a man. Anybody care for a final cigar? No, I don't want a final nothing. Oh, hey, you guys, I'm really Dr. Fooms, and I'm on your side, and, and I want to be free, and I'll give you the hat if you let me go, and I'll give you their hats, too. Aim! Fooms, you're always switching hats. What a sissy. Speaking of sissies, Captain, look! Oh, it's Zorro, the gay blade, even as we speak. Wow! wow. I am Zorro, and this is my rose, David. <gasps> You hurt me. Ha. I am here when the poor are oppressed. I am here when the rich are oppressed. How about when the pants are oppressed? Take that! Take that! Ah, Juan, Juan, R2. You are free. No, I am Juan, too. Ha, I can see you are Juan by your boots. Oh, no time for petty arguments, you ducks. Yeah. Let's all celebrate. Yes. Zorro, hey. why don't you reveal your true identity uh, for all of mankind? Of course, my little Indian mound. Uh, I think I'm in love. 
Oh, that's a 